Greetings managers, this is the warden speaking. The fourth boss of Canto 5 is the Dream Devouring Salt Current. One of the more complex bosses of this Canto, but it's extremely manageable once you find its gimmick. On the first turn, when your clashes, but one attack gets unclashable. In the next turn, it changes the environment, filling up with water. Here, you'll see a flotsam spawn in. With its passive, all damage under 12 is nullified. However, it is vulnerable to every kind of attack. The most dangerous part about the Flotsam is if the boss attempts to use Blind Obsession. It's similar to an Ego, as it is a very high value coin attack. Clash back with an Ego of your own. No matter if you win or lose, there will be a prompt check. Failing the check will have your chosen sinner lose 20 HP. Remember, this will only happen if the boss will use Blind Obsession and Flotsams have HP. Flotsams cannot be destroyed, but having it at 1 HP will be the play here. Winning the clash in both forms on Blind Obsession will cause the Fluorescence to take damage. Once removed, the boss gains Poise buffs and regenerates in 2 turns. This is the window to pummel the body to break it. The best case scenario is to have all Flotsams at 1 HP, have the Fluorescence broken, and body staggered. Overview Focus on a Flotsam and whether Blind Obsession will be used. AoE Egos will be handy to clash and chip damage at the Flotsam. Blind Obsession will give a prompt check depending on the HP of the Flotsam. Winning a clash against Blind Obsession damages the Fluorescent part. Fluorescence will regenerate in two turns, so use this opening to hit the body to break it. And remember, practice makes perfect managers. Warden out.